Today's adventure starts at what is arguably the best free campsite in Australia. This is bad. James Price Point, an absolutely beautiful place to come camp for the night. Not very many people here at all. And it was actually our first off-roading experience to get here. But obviously we made it in one piece and it looks like it's gonna be a stunning sunset. Laura having fun with some seashells. My new bikini. <laughs> Tonight's beverage of choice, we've got a hazy bone Nipa from the Wellbone Brewery in Exmouth. Cheers. 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 Like a whale breaching on your tongue. I love that description, that's so funny. First up for our trip to Broome, we are at a place called Ganthian, Ganthian yeah, Point. Ganthian Point. Because we are on the hunt for dinosaur footprints. How crazy. Yeah, we had no idea, but there's apparently quite a few spots around Broome that you can go dinosaur footprint hunting. And we've come to what we think is the best spot. We have to come at low tide to find them. And yep. we've come maybe 20 minutes after low tide, so we're Fingers crossed we see them. Rush and hope that they're not underwater already. This lovely little family just showed us where the footprints are and we got here just in the nick of time because as you can see, the tide is coming in and oh it's hardly underwater. But look, there's three. It's the footprint of a dinosaur. That is very cool. Look how big. Yeah. Bigger than my hand. These footprints, 130 million years old. How crazy. That's insane. And it's right there. Right there. How crazy. And now we're, we're about to trapped. drown. So we need to go. I think there's some more up in the red rocks as well. Just found three footprints. These look a bit staged. Staged. Do you um, agree? That's like a showpiece. Yeah. Next up, we are at Coconut Well. This was actually a little recommendation from my barber the other day. She said you can come down and float along. So, so we, we took a trip to Kmart, got ourselves a nice glittery nice little floaty. Room. It looks beautiful. The water's well, mega clear. Mm, it's nice and cold because it is like 38 degrees today. Beach myself. Bit of a failed mission actually. It is absolutely beautiful here, but Not we've come more. on a day where the high tide is eight meters, and I think to be able to float down it, it needs to be at least nine meters. But we bought this Kmart ring for nothing. The floating river obviously wasn't too successful, but we've just driven a couple hundred meters down the four wheel drive track, and look at this beautiful beach. We're definitely Stunning. The water's so blue. And the rock pools in front of us, it's still a little bit too high tide to get to them, but I think in maybe an hour or so you can probably act. Should have a little swim anyway. Yeah, let's go for a little dip. Is this how you fly the show? <laughs> yeah, that's how the cool kids fly. Broom is pretty famous for growing mangoes. Literally, there's just mango trees everywhere as we were driving around. But we've come to this place called the Mango Place. And guess what they sell? Lots of mango, mango stuff. So Lee has gone for a beef and mango pie. I'm not sure if it has mango in it or if it's just like dippage. I've gone for a scone with mango jam and of course 
both had to go. Mango smoothie. Cheers. Mm. That is delicious. Would you look at this? Cable Beach, baby. Absolutely stunning. This beach is massive and we didn't realise until we got here but you can actually drive onto the beach. Yep, we've driven on the beach and we've brought our chairs with us. We thought we'd have a nice little picnic for dinner. Yeah. Pretty popular spot in Broome because if you've ever Googled pics of Broome or anything like that, it's where they do the camel tours where they walk right along the beach for sunset. Yeah. They're literally about to head off right now. They're just over there. So we'll sit and have our food and watch them. Obviously, we couldn't leave Broome without visiting the famous Matzo Brewery. When I first heard of Broome, all that anyone would mention is, ah, that's where the Matzo's Brewery is. If you don't know what Matzo is, they're famous for their ginger beer. And I'd never tried ginger beer before I got to Australia, and it's delicious. So we've got the classic ginger beer, mango beer, chili mango beer, chili beer. That's spicy. I, I like that one. Broom has been very surprising, very hot, but very beautiful. Join us as we head into Karajini National Park. Mm, see you next time. Goodbye.